Indeed, on this special day, we give thanks to God for our three mothers. Our three mothers. First, our earthly mother, be she living or deceased, the mother upon whose knee we once sat. Second, our mother according to the order of grace, our blessed mother, the mother whose intercession we beg. And third, our mother, the church, holy mother church, from whose womb, the baptismal font, we were born, and from whose sacred table we receive the great gift of the body and blood of Christ. As we consider our three mothers, let us ponder the question, what do mothers do? And in addition to the many, many things that moms do, I will highlight these three things that mothers do. First of all, mothers comfort. Mothers comfort. When a little child falls down and skins his knee, that child might need some first aid, but what that child needs more than anything else is a mother's loving embrace. That's what that child needs, that mother's comfort. And when we fall, when we get off the path, when we act as though we are sheep without a shepherd, we need the comfort that Holy Mother Church has to offer us the comfort of the sacrament of penance and reconciliation, that sacrament through which we find forgiveness for our sins and the grace to do better. Indeed, the Blessed Virgin Mary is the comfort that God promised after the fall of our first parents, Adam and Eve. Remember that very shortly after their fall, God made a promise to the serpent, to the evil one. His promise is one that gives us comfort. I will put enmity between you and the woman between your seed and hers, she shall crush your head. That is a promise that our Lord keeps through the Blessed Virgin Mary and through her Son, our Blessed Lord. Mothers comfort. And mothers teach. Mothers teach. They teach us our letters, and our numbers, and our shapes, and our colors. They teach us the sign of the cross. They teach us how to sit up straight. They teach us our manners. They teach us how to be our best in public. So too with Holy Mother Church, teaching us about the Lord Jesus, to be sure, and teaching us to get to know him personally, teaching us how to live, teaching us how to be the best version of ourselves, as Matthew Kelly would put it. And we learn from our Blessed Mother, who teaches us through her example, how good it is to trust in the Lord, how much freedom we experience when we surrender ourselves to him as she did, saying to him in her words, be it done unto me 
according to thy word. Mothers comfort and mothers teach and mothers feed, don't they? Mothers feed, be it her special coffee cake or her spaghetti sauce or her angel food cake, whatever it might be, let's face it, nobody makes it like mama. And what moms create on the stovetop and what they serve at the table is a loving extension of her feeding her children at the breast. That exchange that is both eminently practical and profoundly tender. There's a beautiful image of the sacrificial love of a mother feeding her children. It's an image from nature. It's an image that has been dear to Catholics since the days of the catacombs. It's the image of the mother pelican. It is said that if a mother pelican is unable to find food for her chicks, that she will pierce her breast with her beak and feed her chicks with her own flesh and blood. That's a beautiful image of the sacrificial love of our earthly mothers. It's an image of the love of Holy Mother Church who feeds us with the body and blood of Christ, which is her own flesh and blood. Holy Mother Church, united with Christ, the head of the church, is the body of Christ. Holy Mother Church, from this altar today, feeds us with the sacrificial banquet of our Lord's saving body and precious blood. This day, let us be thankful for all that our mothers do. The selfless love and tender comfort of our earthly mother the life-changing example and powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother, and the gift worth more than silver or gold, the great gift of the Eucharist, the gift that comes from the pierced side of our Savior and His body that hangs upon the cross, His very body, and the very blood that flows from his side, thanks to the great gift given to us this day by Holy Mother Church. Mothers comfort, mothers teach, mothers feed.